Hey kids, it's me, Uncle Robbie, and you are literally on the road with Uncle Robbie. Anyway guys, I'm back on, on, uh, I'm on I-40 right now, headed, headed into Memphis, Tennessee. I just passed Nashville. I was in uh, Eastern Tennessee hanging out with my dad this morning. We had breakfast with him, then we went out for some Mexican food for lunch. So I've been in the car since about noon. And uh, I'm going out to Albuquerque to see my good friend Andy West, uh, my, my, my lovely uh, co-host and producer and technical computer goddess uh, we're gonna start working on our new little live stream podcast webcast whatever you want to call it uh, called HD ADHD which stands for high definition attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and so it's it, if you've seen the pilot episode of us from Christmas Eve um, you know what happened with that was we were just sitting there skyping because neither of us had anything better to do on Christmas Eve and uh, we decided to record it just for the hell of it and see what happened and um, you know it, it turns out you know we got, we have a little bit of chemistry going on there so uh, we're gonna see if we can have a go at maybe doing a little bit of a kind of talk show and um, we're gonna start it out together that's why I'm going to say here I'm driving 3,000 miles well, one way, so it's probably going to be about 6,000 miles round trip, but I haven't been on a road trip in four years, um, since the last time I came out to see her, which was a long time ago, but, uh, pardon the camera shaking, that's me hitting bumps, but, um, we're going to be working on that, I might have to, uh, she's, gonna, she's the computer genius, so, uh, we're going to get our cameras hooked up, I sent her a 4K HD camera, so we will truly be in high definition when we do start rolling uh, on this project. And I'm really excited, so guys, keep on rocking the free world. Hey guys, it's me, and uh, I'm in New Mexico since... Uh, <coughs> last I saw you when the sun was going down I was in uh, Tennessee still and now I am in New Mexico and I'm gonna stand here and uh, for a couple of minutes but I'm gonna watch the sunrise because the sunrise in the east and sets in the west so I'm gonna watch the sunrise in New Mexico and you gotta see I, I don't know uh, let me flip my screen but Uh, it's too. Look at that sun coming up. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I'm in, I'm in a rest stop. This is like my favorite rest stop. Well, you know, I've stopped here once before because I've only been here once before. So now it's officially my favorite rest stop in New Mexico. But look at that. Now you can kind of see that. That's beautiful, ain't it? Well, if there was more sunlight, you'd be able to see the, the colors better, but I'm gonna zoom in there. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? Ain't that gorgeous? Look at those mesas. And it only gets prettier. It only gets prettier as we go further into the interior. But the only thing that that could be possibly pretty. I've seen, seen my, my co-conspirator, Andy West, in person for the first time in four years. Literally almost to the day, okay? And uh, I'm really, really excited. So, 
And I haven't been this excited about very much since you guys have known me, so. Anyway, guys, hang in there, hang in there. I'm gonna make it, I'm in the home stretch. I got like, I don't know, how many more miles to go? Let's see. Oh. Oh. I got 140 miles to go. Okay? Says I'll be there at 8.59. I told her I'd be there at 9. She always, she always commends me on my promptness. And this freaking thing, hold on. That's my defroster. Let me shut that off. Okay, let me shut that off so you can hear me. Okay, so that's that's how far I got left to go, 140 miles. So if I'm going 75 miles an hour, I'll be there in less than two hours. I am like really excited. And I gotta show you something else. See that right there? 1,279 miles so far. And that's that's minus 50 miles that it took me to get to I-40 for about 40 or 50 miles from, uh, from Morristown, Tennessee, so. Anyway, guys, oh, wow. I, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm like really, really, really like, oh. Sorry, I, I hit my camera. But I'm, I'm like exhausted, okay? I left Tennessee at noon yesterday, like I said, Eastern Standard Time. And right now, New Mexico time, it's 6.51 a.m., which, Eastern Standard Time's 8.51 a.m., so it's like kind of like almost 9 o'clock, you know, New York time. But uh, anyway, I can't believe it. I'm here. So uh, stay tuned. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a real fun video series. A lot more fun than Gun Month or a month or two. So guys, just hang. Swear to God, hang in there. This is gonna be this is gonna be a real adventure. And I love you. So I'm. Uh. All right, everybody. Um, I'm in the car. I'm driving. Just slide my camera back a little so I don't fall off my dashboard. I don't even have a mount for this camera. No, maybe slide it forward a little. I have a better lighting angle there. Uh, whatever. This is. I don't know. So, anyway, guys, I am an I 40. And uh, it's just beautiful here. I'm looking out the window. I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see how gorgeous it is too. But uh, I'm just, it's just breathtaking here. It's just gorgeous. I mean, as far as the eye can see, you know, because it's real flat. You got these little mesas they call them in mountains or what have you. And uh, I tell you what, this this really makes you believe that there is a God. I, just my react. I'm getting my reaction to it, you know. It's like, so, all right. I don't know if you can see, but I see just the road in front of me. But you can see over there the mountains. Like I said, I just got the camera sitting on the dashboard, but it's like just. Guys, destination on your left. I'm, 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 I'm here, trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. You have reached I'm really your nervous. On your left. Okay, I've reached my destination on my left. All right, all right. I shut the camera off. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Am I ready? I don't know. I don't think so. But anyway, I'm really excited, and uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know. I just got my camera in my hand. Oh boy. All right. Well, I'm here. I made it. Okay. All right. Ready? Ready? Hey, we're in the supermarket right now. Okay. So we're here. We're getting ready to make dinner. It's my birthday. So I'm get, getting dinner made. There she is. There she is. The, 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 the chef supreme. So right now, you're on Uncle Robbie Science Corner kitchen on the road. 
with me. I don't know. Roll intro. Pans, yeah, is three bolts. Okay, three bolts right there. Because yeah. you'll notice in most pans, like 99% of the pans you see, will not have three bolts here. But if they put three bolts here, the yeah. rest of the pan, they took their time with. Okay, and what's the Random, same? Is that you said? Random, Random? and uh, th that's on Amazon or is that on? I got it on Amazon. Um, uh, it's I got it in a thrift store. Oh, really? I get, it, I get everything. I didn't pay for really? this stuff now. So, I mean, do it, do it on a budget, nothing wrong, but that looks like pretty quality. It's like three three bucks. Pans about 150. Yeah, really. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the three bolts, I mean, two bolts can, two bolts is doable, but that's the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Same with knives. The three bolts on the handle shows the bolt hang. That means you have a big knife. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. And there's no, there's no brand that's better. Like, Solinger Armories and, 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 um, and, um, um, can I explain the name? Fucking knife. Um, Naples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Solinger Armories have been around since the 12th century, but they still produce shit knives back then and shit knives now, too. They make some good ones, but they have a, they have a classic set that has the three bolts and the bolt hang. You can see it, and it's mm -hmm. the best set they make. It's also yep. the cheapest set they make. So what did you season the steaks with? Salt, pepper, a touch of lemon, and um, I'm about to put a little bit of balsamic on right before I throw it in. And Real I'm balsamic. Yeah. I'm going to cook it, um, basically flash cook it, and then give it a murray beret, which would be a thickening of sauce for it, mm -hmm. um, out of its own juices, which is just a murray beret just means it's served from whole butter. So. Okay. And I'll saute these things in a second here. Let's see. Sauteed. Sauteed and simmered. The flavor can't be beat. No, 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 wait. I think I got a couple of commercials mixed up there. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers. Leave a comment in the uh, commercials. Uh, Zag Zag, we're here for Recoculus, the all natural, non hormonal, male enhancement formula. Yes, right. If it works, it's Recoculus. <laughs> well, you know, that's, you know what the ge generic name of Viagra is, right? Uh, Lots of copper filling. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and Cialis is just see all this? Yeah, see all this. Sweet. Oh no, I actually did. They look just like Adderall, so I took one of them one day. <laughs> Didn't mean to, but oh my god. Wow. Well, anyway, but this is the most important thing in anyone's diet is diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is, um, that color means it's good for you. Yeah, it's like Toxic Avenger. It's know. like there's nobody, nobody can kill you if you drink this because it's going to kill you. Right, right. No one can kill I you. Quit, I quit methadone, heroin, yeah. speed, yeah. Um, smoking, yeah. um, sex, um, sex with partners that were talented. Um, yes. All these things can't put Mountain Dew. Buy Mountain Dew. I'm, I've tried. I go for like five days, and that's that's my limit. <laughs> so if this stuff is fucked up, if it's worse than methadone, to quit. Really? And everybody know that drinks this stuff? Yeah. Can't get off of it. Yeah. Just that. Just this one diet soda. 
Nobody can get off it. Um, Dale Earnhardt Jr., sorry, yeah. bud, but you sold it to us. You're hooked too. Yeah. Well, yeah, he did drive the Mountain Dew car, didn't he? Yeah, he did drive Mountain Dew, yeah. yeah. Huge difference. Yeah, I remember, I remember that day. I was actually watching that race. I was at my son's grandfather's house. When he watched, he watched the race every Sunday. I was sitting there, I'm like, did that guy just get killed? He's like, that was all hard. I'm like, yeah, I just watched some guy die on the national. Oh my team. God. And then everybody cried, and here's the total trick also. Everybody was crying. It was, oh, Earnhardt died. I was like, mm. I didn't really know who he was, but. You have to deal with it. He used to do the make Gargoyle sunglasses famous, so fuck him. Yeah. Well, you know, NASCAR, you know, you know what NASCAR stands for, right? What? Not athletic sports centered around rednecks. <laughs> so, that's what, if I offended any of my NASCAR fans. I used to have a NASCAR license. It's cool. I got this. You have a NASCAR license? I even had a NASCAR license before I had a regular license. Oh. How do you get a NASCAR license? You lied to them, you give them fake paperwork and they give you a NASCAR license. Oh, how do you get cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that that is now going into the into the flying pan right there. I'm staying out of her way because, you know, this you have a burns. big sharp knife in your hand, so I don't I don't I don't want to, you know, end up, you know, like uh, what was her name there? Um what was that channel you're just watching Cat the Girl Cat? The girl Cat, yeah. She's great. She's a, she's a great cook. Yeah, she's in love with her instant cooker, but I love my instant pot, yeah. She she this girl was this girl was cooking pig uterus and pig flo pig fallopian tubes and, and that major balls are uterus and fallopian tubes major balls are that's some weird deflection. I know, that was, but I, they really did. They actually gave me a pain in my crotch. I was like, oh my god, and the bull penis. I was like, that actually made my whatchamacall shrivel up, jump back inside of my body. Oh, it's like, the same thing with the bull penis? I know, but you know, when she, oh, we cut out the urethra. I'm like, oh my god, don't even say that. I don't oh my god. She, uh, she unsounded it. She made it unsound, yes. Well, when, when, uh, remember, remember Seinfeld episode, you know, where they're like, oh, it shrinks, you know, shrinkage? I'm, I'm talking, you know, I'm talking worse than swimming pool at this point. You have a full SRS if you're watching one video? Lucky, lucky bastard. Yeah, well, hey, my I could, you know, actually. It's like, oh, it's not there anymore. So. Oh, All right, so. Okay. So now you're just pan searing these, right? Yep. Just pan searing them. And, okay, Ooh. and there's the onions. Okay. So the onions. Onions. you're going to do the mushroom and the onion at the same time? I'm going to do the onions first. You must, because mushrooms don't take very long. Oh, okay. So we do the onions first. Yeah, because they need to be caramelized. We're going to do mushrooms for a minute. Okay. When you say caramelized, that's just like the sugary... Yeah. Okay. Sugar releases. And that's what you would just throw on there before some sugar? No, no. It's all better. No, I've done onions, tomatoes, all anybody that has sugar to their fucking fruits and vegetables when they're cooking them. Mm -hmm. There's sugar in it. There's onions, there's sweet onions, but they'll become, become sweeter than the candy bar here by some of them. Really? Yeah. Cool. That's good when you sweet. Like, oh my god, I can't believe how sweet this is. Look at that. Yeah. And with the syrup of this, you can burn it, basically. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just see that in the I just put a little bit of I just use my toothpicks now. Oh, you need to I had a meat thermometer, but I, I tried to use it as a rectal thermometer. And, and it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work out very well. Now, how are you supposed to read it? Right, well, you couldn't. I mean, now, especially if you put it in like the dial side first, it doesn't really work very well. Anyway, this is this is a little comedy going on here. And, uh, all right, well, we're going to go a little break. So we have, I'm going to go smoke, and uh, I'll be right back. And that, that, that uh, had an orange was actually pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so what are we doing now? Um, we're going to cut up the uh, onions and mushrooms, get them sauteing right away. Okay. Kind of the asparagus also. Okay. So. Do you slice and shoot slice? Slice and dice. I'll just slice and dice. Okay, so this is the fun part, right? Yeah. So, so we have we have our cutting board. We need all the necessary materials and, and, and tools. Okay. That makes me nervous. What? You, you, with, that, you with that knife. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we were just watching a video about uh, bull penis and bull penis. Pig, pig vaginas. And you were a <laughs> Okay, so you just slice the bottom. Up. Okay, so you're going to just steam them, right? I'm going to boil them. Oh, you can boil them. You can parboil them. Okay. Okay. Do that. All right. Now this is this is the fastest I've ever seen anyone cook. You know that. Oh yeah, no, I, I, it's yeah. The reason why I always made the big bucks. The, that's right. So we have we have uh, Betty Cake. Betty Crocker super moist because because guess what, guys? It's my birthday, and I'm getting dinner made for me, aren't I, special? Huh? It's cool, right? 
So, potatoes. And we have, what is this? This is Roman lettuce? Yep. I don't Roman. think it's killing people this week. I'm not sure, but I don't think it's killing people this week. Oh. Roman lettuce. And we're sitting here in the kitchen. I'm in Albuquerque. We got, we got the Diet Mountain Dew and real sugar soda because you can't have real sugar soda in New York anymore because Michael Bloomberg has banned it. My favorite, though, extra virgin olive oil. You know where they get extra virgin olive oil from? Um, uh, gamer conventions. No, ugly, ugly olives. Because oh. they don't, anyway. Virgin wool, ugly sheep. Heavy cream, I've got a bag of, got a bag of citrus fruits here because I need citrus fruits. Because I haven't had any of that. I think I'm getting scurvy. No, you have green chili and everything here, so you don't need oh, citrus fruits. Yeah. It's okay, so, so what's the proper slicing method? Depends on what you want to do. If you want to put it on the salad, you slice it this way. Okay. If you want yeah. to put it on, if you want to cook it, um, you yeah. slice it this way. Okay. It depends, I mean, you can also cube it. There's a bunch of things you can do, but um, it's all just personal preference, right? You just want to julienne it somehow. Okay, so julienne. Now, what what is is that a technical term that only you, you master chefs use? Julienne, because Julienne, I think, is is that woman. She's an actress. It's actually a dude. He's really really feminine. So that's why we just we just say that we slice it up like we slice up him. Oh, so he yeah. was a feminine guy. Oh, cool. Nothing wrong with that. It's all, it's all tragedy. It's all tragedy. Everything is good here on 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 cooking cooking with Uncle Robbie and Andy West. Special guest tonight. Yay! Oh my god, if I did that, I would never have a brother. I would never, I would never, I would never play bass again. Look at that speed to Joey. Two different techniques. That's four onions in less than 30 seconds. That's just unbelievable. It would it would have took me it would took me an hour and a half just to peel them. Okay, now these are the mushrooms. This is the important part. Mm -hmm. I want to see how you slice them. Oh, it's just chaos. It's just pure chaos when you're doing these. Okay. So you want me to really do it? Well, I want to because I never get my mushrooms right. Well, okay. we're gonna saute them. So we're gonna leave them a little bit thicker than usual. So we're just gonna okay. go like this. Okay. This is the um. Okay. So it's a. We just basically set up the human centipede of mushrooms. Yeah. And then just push it through like this. That's a claw technique. Yeah, okay. So I'm just running the knife on here. Okay. So I don't even have to look at what I'm doing. It's nice. Right. Okay. There's mushrooms a little more difficult because you want to pull your fingers in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Hold it for you. Okay. Now look at that. So you're going to use all of them or? I'm going to use all of them. Oh, you're going to use all of them. No, right? no, no. You can put some in the salad. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Now, you know, mushrooms are a fungus. Yes, yes. Did you know that? Yes, they're also a mutagen. Mm. They're what? Mutagen. A mutagen? They're a mutagen, yeah. I don't know what that means. Mutates genes. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. Well, in, in New York, in the fall, these guys go mushroom hunting. Yeah, they're, they're just, you know, that's, that's lame, dude. You don't need <laughs> that big of a gun to hunt something that just grows on the ground. <laughs> well, actually, we go mushroom hunting while we're hunting, and, and we actually do have guns while we're doing it. Exactly. But just... guns, guns are more to protect us from the bear and the moose and... <laughs> You know, don't steal their shrooms. Right, the, right. The redneck hillbillies who were probably, you know, going to be a little pissed, perturbed that we're finding them. You have to be careful finding mushrooms out in the, in the wilderness, yeah. unless you know what you're really doing. Look at that pile. Look how beautiful. Oh my God. And these things. Oh, it just smells so good in here. Just onion and mushroom. Got a little piece, little piece right there. Mm. Oh, okay. So now. Okay, so that's a zucchini. Yep. And that's a, that's a, that's a yellow zucchini. Would that be considered a squash? It's a squash. That's a squash. Okay. All zucchini is squash, and all squash, but not all squash is zucchini. Well, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Not all squash are zucchini, but all zucchini are squash. I get you. And and you know, I mean, this this you know this you can use you know uh, as for certain other. You know, uh, activities like you could actually use it as like a little truck, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, or you know, you could walk up and you know, get friendly, get friendly with one of your, one of your, uh, you know, your coworkers, and uh, of course, yeah, that might, feed them. You could feed them with the yellow. Uh, that might that might lead to a hashtag me too soon. I'm just gonna cut this mushroom in half, actually. I don't know. Look at that. Oh, I didn't get it quite in half because I'm not that accurate, but God, oh, so good. Mmm, I love mushrooms. Um, Look, and she's peeling. Look how fast she peels that. Mm. Now, you were a commercial chef for how long? Um, God, 10, 15 years, something like that. No, I love it, actually. Like, I'm like, close to 20. 20. Wow. It was old, yeah. Wow. Yep, so it's a, um... This is a... Sweet! 
zucchinis I grow in my garden in, yeah. in upstate New York. I actually should probably cut them before I, I do. But they, they grow like two feet long. Nice. Yeah. I don't think it's that time of the year yet over here. No, 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 no. no. We, we can't pick ours. Everybody just gets happier. Till, yeah. <laughs> till, till August. Stuff. So look at that. Look at, at the beautiful the cut on that. That's great. Okay, so what's next? Um, I'm going to throw these all in here because they're going to go on the salad. Um, let's see. And what are you going to do with that? Salad. Yo, salad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. These aren't getting cooked. Okay, oh, they're not getting cooked. Okay, okay. Cool, so I'll just take a piece then. Yeah, go for it. Mm. Mm. I've never been um, a huge fan of, of, um, of green zucchinis. I like the yellow ones, mm. but the, these ones are small. If the, green, the problem with the green zucchinis is when they get so big, mm -hmm. they just like, you know. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they don't need, they, there's only so much flavor in one. If it's huge, it's not going to carry. Right. Well, the, my big ones, what I do is I take them, I grind them up, I mix them with some. Grind your big ones out, it's terrible. <laughs> you know, I, I, I mean, I grind. Hey, guys, by the way, don't ever try this stuff. It's, it, this is like really interesting brews that I found. It's called Wave Chocolate Covered Pretzel Flavored Vodka. And I gotta tell it tastes just like that, so it's really not that good. So this is gonna go sit behind the bar and then we come out to special occasions and uh cooking. cooking. Use the facial expression you'll see people make if they drink it. Yes, yes, you can cook it. And uh you don't, probably don't wanna what are you gonna put that on there? She's gonna put it there <laughs> Cool. Hey, well, I, it's my birthday I'm well, I'm, Yep. Yeah. I don't no, no, that man she says it tastes so much better than this stuff. Manischewitz. Manischewitz. How, how do you make Manischewitz wine? You squeeze his grapes. Oh, oh, it's terrible. Anyway, so we're just hanging out, and this is this is gonna probably turn into the drunk cooking show if I have another shot of this crap. So I get the cutting right away. Mm. Ooh, actually not bad, but no. <laughs> this would it would probably be good if it was ice cold. See so in the freezer. Yeah, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer, and uh. While you're, she's preparing the steaks. Now, how do you, how do you actually prepare the steak? That's what I'm going to say. Do you tenderize it? Yeah, I'm going to fork the fuck out of it. And you're going to, okay, you're going to fork the fuck out of it. Salt, pepper, fork the fuck out of it, and then um, probably rubbing a little bit of balsamic into it, and then um, cook it up like that. How do you like your, how do you like your steak? Uh, medium. Medium? Okay. Yeah, medium, medium. So, okay, yeah, so. Why, why live when you do medium, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, ultra rare, I don't like. Medium. This isn't good for ultra rare. This would be, this would be good for. For medium rare plus, probably. Right. Yeah. So you're just boiling the asparagus. Power boiling, power boiling. I start off in the cold water and I bring it up to temperature. That softens them naturally. That when I when I, when I saute them later, uh -huh. they're not um, stringy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I don't know if you've ever had asparagus and people make it where they just either just like steam it or they just um, saute it and just you can't chew through it. Right. That takes care of that right there. It's kind of like cooking up a prime rib. Right. Slow, low temperature. Bring it up to temperature, mm -hmm. and by the time it's like 165, it's just melting like butter. Okay. This is gets to get a little hotter, but still. Okay. I can't wait to watch this video when I get back home, so I actually know how to make asparagus. I'm like, dragging half speed. In the... <laughs> right. right. No, I'm gonna be stopping. Now, now what do I do? It's like it's like when you do an instructional video on how to put your like you know your uh, your, your, your your shotgun back together. Like, wait a minute, wait, wait that part doesn't fit there. Now look down the barrel. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I do. I do instructional. I do actually teach classes on, on WordPress. Yeah. Yeah, I do um, tons and tons of uh, tutorial videos. Yeah. And yeah, I just always suggest, you know, just play it on half speed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is all going down right now. This is all going down in real time. This is like real time dinner cooking. Look how fast she is. Okay. I'm telling you, I've never, I've never seen anybody, anybody in the kitchen working at this, at this breakneck speed. Yeah. And, I, and I've seen some good cooks. <laughs> I've done like 19 pigs in a day, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's just butchering them and cooking them. Right. Um, it's, um, yeah, no, I've been, I've been doing this for a long, long time. But, okay. Do you think they kind of like baked potatoes? They're not quite easy to do this. Let me, let, me put the, let me put this bottle of vodka in the freezer. Okay. Because it's like, oh, where's the freezer? Okay. Really? Just because, uh, it's just, well, I don't know if that's going to fit. I'll put it in the back. I'll put it in the back. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, we'll stick it in the right on the ice. Sure, okay. hide it. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's good. Hide the, hide the freezer. Okay, and there, and there you go, and there you go. Now, you're dicing the potatoes up. Huh? No, I'm cubing them. Oh, you're cubing them, okay. I so mean, bigger than diced. Bigger than 
Right, so that's what it's called, cubing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a baked potato, um, almost like a baked potato spread, but not, okay. um, so like Scardalia, which is Greek, a baked potato spread, but with chunks. Okay. Yep. Okay. And what kind of knife is this you're using? Shitoku. It's one of the Japanese ones? Yep. It's it costs like $2.99 on Amazon. Yeah. I've got a Hinkle Twin Star, I've got... I've got knives all over the place. They're really expensive, but they're... Yeah, that one's like, this is like, this is a like $200 knife. Yeah. And this is a two ninety nine knife, and guess which one's better? The $200. Yeah, the Shitoko. The Shitoko is way better. So that's, that's $299? This is $2.99. Oh, $2.99. Oh. This is, yeah, three bolts. Yeah. You can tell a good knife because it has three bolts and you can see the metal. Okay. Ship knives, yeah. you can't see the tang. Oh. for it. Oh, see this that? knife costs two hundred bucks. That's a two hundred dollar knife, and that's a two dollar ninety nine cent knife. And it's on Amazon. And what's it called? It's just Shitoku blade. Sh I don't know the brand name, but I don't know the brand. But Shitoku, um, as long as it's decent steel, Shitoku is just a better design of a knife. We'll have to look it up. I'll put a link in the description. Maybe we'll get like an Amazon affiliate. Thing well, no, Shitoku is it's a style of blade. It's like saying chef blade. Chef oh, blade. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I don't know. Unless somebody owns like chef knife in Japan, they're like, yeah, hey, we're gonna totally help these people out. In which case, um, yeah, um, awesome. Send me new games. Cool. <laughs> See, it's curved like a Chinese, um, like a Chinese cleaver. Yeah. So it's got the curve, so you can always just cut in any angle you want to. Yeah. Works well, and um. Okay. I love, I love the way you have the, the hanging, the hanging pots. Well, and this, pans. Is the, uh, this is the the speed rack'em. Speed so. rack'em, yeah. My, I, I, I would have hanging pots and pans in my house too if I actually owned any pots and pans. I acquired all these um uh, since I moved in here. Like I had nothing when I moved in here. So. I know. Well, I was here right when you moved in. Oh yeah, I had nothing. This place was now this place is all like crowded. I need to get rid of. I need like friends that steal from me so I can get rid of some of my stuff. <laughs> they help me move before I like, move, and I'm not getting anyone helping me right now. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. Well, okay. This is how you. I like I like these potatoes. Yeah, they're, they're basic russets. Basic russets. I, I usually I usually use the uh, what you call like the yellow the yellow potatoes. And when I do my when I do my like roast, I use the uh, what do you call it, honey? The um, the small new potatoes. Yes, yeah. those ones. Yeah, I use those ones. I forget all that new, but they're the new potatoes. Yes. Yeah, so, um, um, I like the russets because they have the terrible sauce. Yes. And that's the only difference between a cook and a chef is one of those knows how to speak French. Yeah. It's <laughs> only difference. Only difference. And of course, for her, she got the semi sweet chocolate and the heavy cream. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, and of course, Betty Crocker. But hey, you know what? Can't beat a Betty Crocker cake mix, can you? You can beat Betty Crocker, but not a cake mix. You can beat Betty Crocker, but not a cake mix, right? Yeah, no. Hey, right? Betty, what? Shut up! You know, I think Betty Crocker had a date with Chef Boy R D one night, and they... he died of a heart attack, and she just whistled on by. Yeah, I guess so. Because you ever see his stuff anymore? No. no. Well, Chef Boyardee! No, it can't, it lasts forever, That's, but this is boxed, it doesn't last forever. It's no, it doesn't. It. The Chef Boyardee, I have quite a bit, I have a quite a bit of Chef Boyardee uh, under under my counter in my, 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 uh, my canned you pantry. Keep bugs away? No, I, I have it just in case the nuclear apocalypse or zombie apocalypse happens this way, you know, I have, I have uh, you know, bad food to... The radium, the radium die from something other than radiation poisoning? Right, <laughs> right. Well, this is much quicker. Well, it's got so much preservatives in it that it wouldn't actually get radiation poisoning. Okay, now we watch this. Yeah. This is already cut. I mean, there you go. Yeah. This is fine. Okay. And okay. one. And then a bunch. An angle one. cut. Oh, okay. All right, I see. I see. I have the way of doing it. Yeah. And it comes to bite size, yummy yeah. pieces. We put a little bit of fringe on the side for, for plating. Right. So, yeah. Right. Like I said, I don't think it remains killing people this week, but I, I didn't want to check the weather death channel. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, good. I like romaine lettuce. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's, um, it has some nutrition, not as much as spinach, but some. Not as much as spinach. Iceberg is worthless. There's no reason to ever eat, eat iceberg. No, I, I, I stay away from iceberg. The only time I use iceberg is if I'm like shredding it up to put it on like hamburgers or something like that. Yeah, and, but still, I still wouldn't use it. I use spinach. You use spinach? Well, I have kids, so I, you know, I have yeah, to feed them true. nutritious food. I'm legally obligated to feed them nutritious food. Nutritional food. Well, technically, you're legally obligated. I mean, yeah, yeah, but they'll be bigger than me, and there's two of them, and eventually they'll kick my ass for feeding them shit, so. Well, that's true. Like, true. Their mom's gonna get an ass beating from them just for all the macaroni and cheese she's with them. Duh! And she's like a vagina, I'm beating her asses for our life together. Yeah, right? <laughs> Um, it's violence. It's generally the solution for things. No, violence. Violence is never a solution. For it's absolutely. Okay. Except, except. Oh, I'll give you. I'll give you. Okay. Defend that statement. But my statement is violence is always a solution. Mm -hmm. All of human history. Mm -hmm. I suggest that as evidence. And well, you can go with your rebuttal now. 
Well, that's true. And it's true. Violence has stopped, but like violence stopped World War Two. Um, violence stopped World War One. Violence. Uh, when, when, when did when was violence not the the go to winning solution for humans? Not, probably never. So. Never. You know, Gandhi was a, Gandhi was a, a, a an extreme dieter. Yeah. Um, literally, who just went on a diet fad as the British Empire was already leaving. They were contracting back into Britain. He did. He had sat there eating cake, and they were left just the same. And Martin Luther King, um, but he achieved nothing. There are more slaves working today in America than ever before. Society is still completely broken, and our cops still hunt black people for, for sport. So, what did he achieve? Malcolm X would have actually achieved something. Well, yeah. Because why he used violence? <laughs> Well, I, I, I do, you know, that's like Dave, Dave Mustaine said, peace sells, but who's buying it? It's not like, obviously no one, Dave, so. No one, no one is. Um, no, no, I bought that album. I did buy that album. It's the only album I've ever, his I've ever bought. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of his whiny-ass voice. Please, me, I'm not metallic anymore. Yeah, it's really sad. We shouldn't make fun of him. He just got over cancer, but. Yeah, I don't care, dude. He's a dick. I've met him. Fuck him. Yeah. We should more cancer, right? <laughs> no, really, really. Him and, him and um, what's his name? Um, fucking, uh, God, he's a, he wrote it. You're really, really, really original singer, like Garage Band era, um, mm -hmm. ACDC singer, um, fucking Bob Scott? No, 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 there's a guy before them. He quit the band and, like, you know, the Nego, like, long before they ever left the garage, and then Bon Scott, you know, and they got famous. But he still sells himself as the, um, Soren played guitar for him, went on tour. Oh, man. And he's like, it's a blah, blah, and the badasses. And this dude's such a fucking prick. Yeah, just, just absolutely. When you when you never made it, and you're the, you still have the ego of like you know someone who did. It's seriously delusional. <laughs> okay. So what's the egg for? Now I'm still wondering what's the egg yeah. for. The ca oh, how much egg did you need? I, I'm only gonna use one because I'm gonna make more like a brownie style. So it's, oh, gonna, okay. it's gonna be a dense cake. It's gonna it's gonna not exactly follow the Betty Crocker recipe because I I, I don't do that okay. ever because I be, tiny print. I just have all right. Time. So we got the asparagus cooking. We're gonna yep. get... Asparagus is actually not. The asparagus going to sit there for a bit while we get everything else going. Okay. We're going to get the steaks ready to go and then okay. I'll cook them. Okay, so you're going to get the steaks ready to go. You're gonna... So you're just going to stab them with a fork. Pretty much, yeah. Cool. Also, take on your silver skin, I see, because you want it medium. And medium is not um, significant of a temperature enough to melt the silver skin down. You yeah. Need to, you know, but it's time. You really need to cook it for hours. It's a little temp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, juice. So I think I got the silver skin on it, too. So let's see. Going. I'm gonna see how you do steaks now, because I have to learn how to cook like real food for myself because you know I have very little hope of ever finding, you know, uh, a domestic uh, tranquility or a gainful employment ever again. So I have to learn how to cook for myself. Yeah, because fast food is not food. See? Well, that's true. Like you want to go see the McDonald's cheeseburgers that I use to keep all the roaches out of my apartment? Yeah. Only apartment in Melbourne without roaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. McDonald's cheeseburgers. McDonald's cheeseburgers. There are no roach in the city. We'll come within 15 feet of one. So you put one here, one there, and it covers the entire ground floor. Really? And one upstairs. And that's how you get rid of roaches. That's how I have no roaches. There's none, but there's no roaches in this place. McDonald's cheeseburgers. Yeah, they okay. just they hate the most since we so now, now here's where she gets a little bit of a little bit of a a little bit of a little bit of This goes a lot faster than the cutting. Okay, okay. This goes a lot faster than the cutting. I just want somebody to understand me. I'm going to cut, cut, cut. That's okay. right. That meat's a really weird color, though. I'm okay. colorblind. I can't tell, but it's um, it's been that one's been like slightly overly oxygenated. Yeah. You can get, you can... Well, maybe just because it's it's from the the, the, the cows were killed around here, <laughs> they haven't been sh shipped. No, it's not me. No, that's um, it's, it's it's all it's yeah, it's bad. They haven't been shipped two thousand miles to New York and turned gray in the interim. Oh, you you get gray meat over there? It's that's it's it is. people. It's people. <laughs> So you just stab it, just yeah, like, just pretty sure, yeah. jab with the fork. Now, if I had a if I had a vacuum sealer, I'd actually throw it in a bag with um with some spices and some uh, some oils. Yeah. yeah. And um and suck that up to the vacuum. But I, I don't really feel like sucking on camera today, so yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, hey, that's okay. We can always suck off camera if you really. I mean, it's my. You want to suck off? You want to suck off your camera? Go for it. Yeah. It's like one of those internal shots, like ooh. Oh, oh my God. God. And there's the potatoes. Now. It's gonna be baked potato when they're done. Trust me. Okay. It just doesn't look like you. Okay. It's okay, so we're here and, and uh okay, so we can take a little break. I'm gonna eat one of these these little uh um uh, mandarin orange things here. You know, uh, what are they called? Adorably sweet and seedless. It's called fracking. fracking. The hydraulic fracking, fracking solution. Fracking solution. Frack no, that was the clementines. Do you know? Anything grown in California, any any orange, any citrus grown in California right now? Yeah. Like this is the best one. Snopes actually had it on the so when someone has been saying this rumor that, that um that 
the um, the California growers yeah. are using for irrigation. They're using they're using reprocessed um, petroleum field runoff and fracking fluid. Mm -hmm. And um, and that is and that is a horribly toxic toxic chemical that's going to kill us all. Well, that's a, that's totally false because we don't know what that chemical is going to do to us. Yeah. It's really no, it's really what if you look up um, if you look up a uh, fracking solution in California yeah. in Snopes, yeah. that's the article and it says that it's false because <laughs> we don't know what the, what the chemicals will do to us. We don't know what chemicals are in there. Well, that's, their, that's how it's false. Wow. Yeah. No, 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 I'll never eat any California citrus. Never do. It's, it's never coming out of the, it's never coming out of the cycle, out of the water cycle anyways. I love asparagus. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, right, I'm going to put the camera down for a minute and eat orange and we'll be back right here again on Uncle Robbie's Cooking Corner of Science Studies Science. on the road Just with Talking Shit. Cooking and up. Eddie West, yay! Let's hear it for you. Okay. We, we'll be right back. She just handed me a piece of, of asparagus. It's like going in here. I dropped it on the counter. Oh, wow. I can even feel how tender it is. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Here, put it on the plate. That's up. Wow. Well, it's still a little warm. But that tastes so good. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Mm. Asparagus in under hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, so salad. Mm. Mm. Salad, would you call it? It's a romaine and stuff. It's a garden, it's just a garden salad. I just have garden salad, yeah. No, no tomatoes? Salad. No tomatoes now. Mm -hmm. They're just, you know, they're all from California here, so I just don't trust them. Yeah. Now, what's your problem with California aside from the fracking? Aside from the fracking, nothing. I like California aside from the fracking. Because when you grow fruits with um, petroleum filled runoff and, and fracking fluid, yeah. it's just fucking wrong, man. Yeah. In so many different ways. Well, mine is, mine is like, you know, the palm. Palm, uh, palm Wonderful, whatever it is, the, uh, the pomegranate wonderful. It's like they, they, it takes to make one of their like nuts or their pistachios, or it takes like, you know, uh, 150 yeah. gallons of water or something for each one. And the thing is, the, the migrant farmers who are, who are farming the field, they don't have clean water to drink. Yeah. Because all the clean water is going. Well, as you can tell, it's not clean water. Well, okay. But they don't have it, so they're like drinking poison water. Yeah, and the, the, the water that's going into the food, it's yeah. also poisoned. Here's the high touch, here's the high, high class touch. Oh, oh, I got a placemat. I got a placemat. Okay, well, let, let, me, let, me, let me try this now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And that's just a little right here. Yep. Okay. Just, just a little bit right here. Okay. Here's a fork. Oh, a fork. Oh, wow, that's even really high class. Okay, which one do you want? I'll take the big one. Well, I'm the hungry dad, so I'm going to have the big fork, so. I've <laughs> never actually said that to my kids, not once. What's that? I've never actually said that I'm a hungry dad. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you guys eat, I don't want to eat, so I'm just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like seven year old balsamic or some shit like that. It's crazy. Seven years old? You don't want to wield in that. Oh. See, see, I don't know what it is. It's um, just stuff right here. Okay. And where do you get this at? Um, a uh, cartel neighbor of mine who uh, got busted by ice. Oh. Yeah, they gave me a bunch of stuff. Cool. Yep. Nice. Well, they, took my, they took my Ibanez. Apparently it was made in Mexico. Right. Yeah, thanks. Good plate. Good plate. I've just never seen the point of like, putting them all perfectly on there. Mm -hmm. That's some OCD shit that the moment somebody touches it, it's mangled. Good plate. Yeah, put that in there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was some bread? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I didn't live uh, a Let's 
They come in. So you just you stuck them in for about five minutes. Yep, five minutes. Mm -hmm. That's just an extra, extra little bonus for the fun. You can see the dish breaking up now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can push it. You can push a toothpick through it. Yeah. It's done. So it's not done. No, it's done. It's actually done. It's not done. You can push through without breaking it. It's done. So. Okay. So you just wait around done. So I'm gonna put them out because I huh? kind of like them a little bit out there. A little El Dante. A little El Dante. I don't know who El Dante was, but he knows how to cook food pretty well. Yeah, I guess. I guess El Dante did know it. I think, I think he was like some kind of like Mexican guy, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all it's all too. Okay. Okay, so now we're back. Now those steaks are just looking super. Oh yeah. And you guys are gonna bring them up to like a like a medium or a minus. Yeah. And then I'm gonna stick them, I'm gonna hold them up to the side and stick them in the oven for the last five minutes. Okay. That's actually just softening up the, the tendon that's left inside of there. Yeah. Oh. I can smell it caramelizing too, as you yep. said. Yeah. You can smell that. Who taste this? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So just a pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper, yeah. Basically, these are just canned spices that everybody wants in their food all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the salt as you go. Then, throw the other half of the butter in. The other half? Yeah, this is the, this is the, um, <laughs> what the hell's your name, the, um, uh, I told you to bring up, like, the name, the old drunken chef kid. Oh, uh, Julie Child. Yeah, 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 this is the butter is her, comes from her school of cooking. Yes. Butter is named into the pound butter. Is she a spy Probably, yeah. 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 Uh, so, you're saying for breakfast? Why is breakfast so exciting right now? Because I know, because I take Adderall and just ramble like Trump. Yeah. <laughs> but I know stuff. But you know stuff. Yeah, well. I tell you what, if, if Trump could make a steak like that, they wouldn't be impeaching him. Holy cow. The Trump steaks suck, they were horrible. Yeah. You know, I, I did eat in, in uh, some place in Trump Tower one time. I actually wasn't really that impressed with the food there. Um, but, I mean, it wasn't, it was, you know, it was worse. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. But, you know, for what we were paying, I didn't think it was, you know, that good. But that was a long time. <coughs> That was probably in the early no, 90s. You, know, you supported Trump, just admitted. What? You supported Trump, just admitted. No, I didn't. <laughs> you supported I, I, his restaurant. Well, I, yeah, in 1993, and that's only because my uncle was paying for it, so. Yeah. Because you know, uh, I've already put balsamic on the steak, and I'm going to put this. Okay. This is not yogurt. It's, it's actually just red chili sauce. Oh, it's red chili. This is New Mexico, and you can't serve anything without red or green chili on it. Right. Well, uh, that's the It's the law. Sorry. It's, it's the law. It's not it. It's not it. Okay. Let's see the mucho. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm a better cook than anybody in the state. I just explain it to you. I, I, Every time I, I've ever cooked, I'm competitively here, I've won, so it's not a problem. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. I can mm. smell that, too. That's wow. Yeah. Mm. So we're going to use the lead this out. We'll do anything else then. Yeah. Uh, bring it down to about uh, 20 degrees above room temperature. Mm. We pop it back in the oven at 450 for five minutes, and it will soften up completely. And stay medium. Cool. Ish. 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 Medium ish. Medium ish. The ish is, is the point, you know, ish. My, 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 uh, my friend's brother was called Ish. Ish? Yeah, it was Ishmael, who was his name. I was, I was wondering his name, things the quasi pseudo foe esque ish yes. thing. Yes. I could watch you cook all day and day long. Matter of fact, you should do your own cooking show. We gotta get, you know, I, like I said, this is all experimental, you know, content. We're just, we're just, you know, throwing, throwing stuff against the wall, seeing what sticks, you know. And this, this, this is weak. Yeah, it's weak. Now, that's non-gluten free, right? No, well, there's gluten in there, but there's gluten in there. The bit, the bit holds together as bread. If yeah. it does this, yeah. and it's not just falling apart on me, yeah. it's got gluten in it. Okay. Even if it's gluten free, it's still got gluten in it. So what's the deal with gluten? What happens with gluten? There's like... There's celiac disease. There's a, there's, you can get an intolerance from having, if you're around flour. Like, I've known some old Italian chefs that eventually got them when they're like 80. Oh. The flour makes their, like, their throat bleed. And it makes it just it's only toxin. They develop an allergy to it from being around for too much, oh. too long. But someone heard about that. These 80 year old chefs who've thrown, you know, a million tons of flour in their lifetime. You get celiacs. So they sort of they treat it like MSG and go, oh no, I'm allergic to it, to gluten. No, you're fucking not. Nobody's allergic to gluten. Celiacs aren't allergic to it, they're intolerant to it. There's a huge fucking difference. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. Now, what's the deal though? You know, some people, they, the Crohn's thing, what's the Crohn's? Crohn's, Crohn's is, dairy, is, is intolerant to dairy. They just oh. don't tell you that when you go to the hospital for some reason. Oh. Yeah, no, if you if you eat dairy, you, you, if you have pain in your bowels, you irritated bowel syndrome, yeah. and Crohn's disease, yeah. stop fucking eating dairy. Yeah, really? 
Most new to regular these species on the planet that drinks the milk yeah. after the infancy. They yeah. also drinks the milk of other species, but we drink the blood of our enemies, so fuck it, why not? <laughs> God, I love it. Oh, man, he's so great. How we, can we can always twist it back into some Viking, you know, epic, we drink the blood of our enemies, let's go to Valhalla. Only one way to get there. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you afraid of going in there? I'm like, not really, why? Because I'm the old man. The only one way to get into Valhalla. Yeah. Let's get there soon. Wow. Yeah. I want to get there before they run out of beer. Right before. Uh, sesame oil. Okay, yeah. And right on bread. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, this instead of olive oil, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sesame oil is good. I like it. Yeah, you know, like the whole thing about the. As you do get older, you get more lactose intolerant, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. You know, if I want to eat a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, I have to, like, sit on the toilet to do it. So it's like, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I have a glass of milk and I can, I can, I can actually pressurize the Hindenburg, yeah, no problem. Yeah, right? It's hydrogen gas, tons and tons of it. It's really loud, sorry, neighbors. Yeah. Explosion. Yeah, it's straight up. She moves, she moves so fast in this kitchen, I cannot... Oh, I move this fast in any kitchen. Wow. No, I've got, I've got cooked shifts where, like, you know, three cooks couldn't handle the, the shifters because I, I know what I'm doing, I don't take extra steps, I don't want to Toaster oven. Yep. Toaster oven. A little, a little uh, uh, sesame oil. Salt, pepper, garlic. Yeah. Salt, pepper, and just right in. in. Right now, it's still a little bit of garlic bread. Right. And sesame oil makes it taste different. So this is really not that. That I mean, anybody could really do this. I mean, you don't have anybody to. Anybody can do this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, then you have hands and feet, and you can like, look at what you're doing. You go like this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, of yeah. course, I would end up cutting off a digit or two. Um, if I try to process the, uh, the, uh, the vegetables. I hate, yeah, I hate, I hate the food processors because they're way too slow. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, when, you, okay, when, you're, when you're working in, in the food industry, yeah. you didn't go to work, and then when you're going to crack 900 eggs, first thing, just, that's just what you do before you start working. Yeah. That's five minutes worth of work. Really? And you just... Really? Yeah, basically, you're going to Then you're going to go cut up stuff, and you don't just cut stuff like... You don't just slice up, like, one squash or one zucchini. You're going to peel and squash a case of each. Really? That's just standard. You do a case at a case at a time. Two cases, three cases on weekends. Yeah. And that's your job. And if you don't if you don't learn to do the back and forth trick and turn it the other hand, yeah. you're never going to keep that job. Really? Yeah, you're also never going to get anything done. Right. It's not set. It's not what else we got here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. It's going. Take us down here. So, here's been washed. Stuff to go on south in here. Did you got the there. potatoes in the oven. What's going on with the potatoes in the oven? Potatoes in the oven are going to be treated with, um, Butter, sour cream, okay. which I'll, I'll be doing this on your potatoes. My potatoes will be dry because I'm broken inside. Yes, because I'm broken inside. <laughs> What's it called? Extra crispy? Or no, no, no pressure. No pressure? Yeah. No, no, I thought it was extra. Yeah, no, it's no pressure, extra crispy. The show is like called No Pressure, and I think the person that's re-syndicating it is, is, um, is extra crispy. The oh. show is always called No Pressure because it's No Pressure Instant Pot. Right. Oh, okay. I love mine. I, I, I love my saute pan. Well, you're, you're going to have a no-pressure instant pot by the time... Well, I'll use it. I'll tell you. Yeah. I make corned beef and cabbage like four times a year. Really? Oh, I love corned beef and cabbage. My kids don't, so I just love eating it and watching their faces. Yeah. Well, we made, we made, when I was up in Vermont, we made a corned beef in that, and it was the most tender, just it melted in oh, the yeah, yeah, sugar. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we should, yeah. yeah. Mm. Corned beef works yeah. really well. As a matter of fact, that's the first thing I did when my friend sent me mine. And the first thing I did was like I actually got up, got dressed, went to the supermarket. You know, to uh, we uh, our supermarkets up were from a called Price Chopper. Yeah. You know? And uh, I went to the Price Chopper and I got corned beef. And I went back and I chucked it in and it was just one. And I had the sauerkraut left over, so I made uh, I made made Rubens again. And uh, yeah, it was actually uh, probably one of the best Rubens I've ever had. So you put a I'm repurposing the butter from this into that. Okay. Yeah. Is yeah. Point, you're building your butter board? Well, yeah, no, that's, that's great. Repurposed butter, but it also has the seasoning. Of the onions. And, of the onions. Yes. That's actually cool. That's going and those good. things just smell really Oh, yeah. I mean, mm. amazing, yeah. Mm. Well, the only butter bread is it's a leftover bread from the day before. And it's been repurposed, so. This is actually fresh bread. This is garlic bread, so I'm breaking the rules. That, you know what? It's nothing but the best day since my birthday. I eat something. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. I drove. I drove. I drove 23 hours to get here in one shot. Good thing you made a reservation. Yeah. <laughs>
I made the resolution. Right. I'm like, yeah, here. Uh, well, I'm always out of time, but that's only because my GPS tells me what time I'm getting there. <laughs> you know? I was coming over that damn mountain, and at first of all, you're fighting the, you know, you can't go, you can't go in the left lane unless you're passing. And the speed limit's 75, and the things, I don't think any, why does everybody drive the speed limit? And when they're on like I-40, why is everybody doing like, they don't, these people do not, you've got a pe couple of people who are going 90, but I'm sure they're all off duty. Well, no, once you get into the city, they're getting out of your gear, you the 100 in the left lane. Right, that's the thing, once you get over the top of the mountain, and you're going down that, nobody gives a crap anymore except for me, because I don't want to get a ticket. Yeah, yeah, no, they don't care about tickets. As long as you're going above 100 miles an hour, the cops never come up behind you. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Well, of course, my old, my old thing is you can't have a radio. And the toaster yeah. oven just came, so... We're not going to... No, no, because nobody listens to the radio. <laughs> they got an excellent health control. Yeah. I actually had... To, I, I wish I had the satellite in my car. But the thing is, I don't drive my car enough mm -hmm. to actually mandate... You know, the, or, or necessitate the added sixty dollars. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that hardware. Look, that smells so good. Oh my God! Wow. And look at those asparagus. Your cooktop is going to get screwed up, though. Huh? Your cooktop's going to get screwed. Oh, I screwed up the night with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I do that. And then what I do is I got the cooktop cleaner stuff. My mother's got a stove just like that. So my stove is actually gas. Oops. Damn. That one never fried. Oh well. Mm. Right? <laughs> so here we are. And this is, I know, start to finish. You know, when I edit this video down, it's, you know, I only went outside to smoke for like five minutes and I wasn't filming that, but that's just because stuff was cooking and, you know, no real other events are happening. But look at this. And this is, this is in less than an hour. We've yeah. got every, and this is real gourmet. Look at those sticks. And they, uh, have they been through the oven yet? Mm -hmm. Have they been through the oven? No, no, not yet. No, you're about oh, to put no. them in there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting where I am in the, in the prices here. Okay, and where's the bread coming out? Yeah, the bread just a little more, but you know, hey, that's the advantage of, uh, of, uh, of being on Adderall and having ADHD. It's yeah. that you get good at multitasking. <laughs> what can I tell you? Yeah, tell me, if it's the only little advantage here. Asparagus. I know asparagus. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you're putting it into the other pan. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to put this pan in the oven because the handle's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Oh, and okay. And, and okay, and they go directly over. Mm -hmm. Gotta mix up all the smells. Yeah. yeah. I, I wish I wish we had smell of vision on YouTube because we kinda do. Everything stinks. <laughs> yeah, the most content does. Especially mine. Hey. This is probably the best content I created so far and not even in it. Watching you. This is a lot. <laughs> Poor man. Hey, leave me alone. I'm old. Yeah, I know. You, you, don't, you don't get 
you don't get good food like this when you're in a restaurant. <laughs> okay. French fry seasoning. Okay. That's all it's just French fry seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speed cooking with Angie West. We're gonna go to show cooking on map. Cooking on map. That's why right. so everybody's at work. They put me in charge so almost immediately because I just am faster than Oh, and I love cooking. I just, I just um, once I had kids, I had to stop because it keeps you away from the house too much. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. That is, that's what I call. That's what I call dinner. That's that's what I call. So anyway, we're we're gonna. Oh, I didn't know yeah, short knife, and I'm ready to go. So all right, all right, great. Bye bye.